Hello everyone, my name is Alex, the Dutch summer is in full effect and this is Straat Studio Talks. Today we're heading to Utrecht to visit Guido de Boer in his studio space. Guido is responsible for one of my personal favorites in our Straat collection. The artwork behind me here isn't just a maze, there's a question being asked. The question starts in the very top right and you have to counterclockwise make your way towards the upside down question mark. Each letter has a bend that will help you find the actual letter shape. Let's head down to Guido's studio to find out more about his passion for reading versus looking. Let's roll! So I'm uh, Guido de Boer, I'm an official artist since 12 years, all self-employed. I really wanted to be a graphic designer when I was young. I really was busy with designing album covers, books, all the things I could design. Really fell in love with letters, so then the obvious choice was to dive into that on art school, doing all kinds of typography courses, letter courses. I really felt an urge to do all of that in a more artistic practice. So it slowly directed into an art practice. What can you tell us about your studio space? First thing is that it's on the old canal. It's right above the art supply store, which is super convenient. It's divided in two rooms. I really like that. It's not big, but it's perfect for me. What does a typical day at the studio look like for you? I actually work quite scheduled almost, quite disciplined. In the morning I reflect, I draw, I write a bit. In the afternoon I'm more in this room where I execute stuff, execute ideas, work on bigger things or when I would have appointments or when I have to draw somewhere else or paint somewhere else then that's normally what I would like to do in the afternoon. What can you tell the people about the artwork in our Straat collection? I'm still super happy with it. Usually I try to reflect a bit on the tools I'm using. And with tools I mean the letters I'm showing. So basically there's a question in the work. And this question is asked to the people, what are you looking at? If there's a painting of a sea, you don't say to yourself, ah, that's a sea. And then you walk on. People sometimes stop thinking when they read. They just think like, this is the given word, and then it stops. And I think then there's something to start with, uh, something that's given to you. And it would be great if people could perceive the letters in my art as that. I come from a, a practice where I'm making letters, sometimes even for the sake of making letters. Um, and I really love the shapes, uh, but I also love the meaning. And I think I have a responsibility not only towards the viewer, but also towards my own process. What do you have lined up for the near future? Therefore, we need to look down. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on this project for three years already. This uh, stonework, well, this is paper, but this is a representation, one-on-one -on -one scale, of uh, an artwork on a schoolyard here in Utrecht and it's being uh, made right now. And what I did with the children of the school, I invented the fantasy language and script also uh, to communicate with the aliens because the school building is set up like a spaceship, let's say, in their architecture. And this square is going to be 2,000 square meters and there's going to be five huge fantasy words there. And this is, uh, this is the model. <laughs> Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. To everybody watching at home, make sure to follow us online and get ready for more Straat Studio Talks coming your way. Bye -bye. Ciao.